Okay, we're back. Henry's just come off a big, big battle. He's feeling good. His thirst for blood has been quenched for now. I'll have a wash. What I want to do is, because I would have gotten some levels up in that battle, I want to check me, me stats to see what I can get. So main level. Now the main level, and I'm level 12, but I don't really like some of these stats because they, they give you, a, it's kind of like Fallout stats. Well, on Fallout 3 anyway in New Vegas. I think it was New Vegas. Where it gives you a buff, but then it gives you a debuff on something else. So, first aid's got, it's only a positive, so I'll take that. Can I get another first aid? Yeah. Bandages are 50% more effective. For a village boy, you're quite the sawbones. The perk opens the most advanced options in dialogues. Ah, that's good. And the rest of them are just... Yeah, I don't want to take any of them yet. Okay. Minimise that. Strength, I'm not bothered about. Agility, not bothered. Vitality. Uh... Ooh, your health will regenerate gradually. I think I'll have a bit of that. Last gasp. You'll survive an otherwise fatal blow, and your health will even regenerate by 20%, only activated once in a single combat. That could be really good. I want to get last gasp. That'll be phenomenal. The guy's gonna be a beast. Okay, so those two are spent on vitality, which is awesome. Speech. Trader loses patient. You get one more chance to make another offer. High bone. They're the ones that got negatives as well. I don't want to take them. You'll see your opponent's stats. Increases your speech skill while haggling. Oh, that's amazing. I should have taken that straight away. Because I haven't been getting my speech skill up by haggling with people and I always haggle. What's that one? Merchants will be more willing to buy stolen goods from you. I'm not bothered about that. Troubadour. Put your entire reputation when you talk to women. Let's see your counterpart stats. Right, okay, I'm happy with that now. I can't do any of them. Combat. Defense. You're able to put on armor. I won't well worn, but I need to be level 12 for it. I want that one as well, Knight in Shining Armor. I've looked at these before, I don't want any of these. I don't want my armor to be more frightening because I don't like people running away. I like them to stand fighting so I can slaughter them. <laughs> Warfare. Greater chance of drawing blood. Less your maximum stamina. Oh, the less your maximum stamina, the greater injury you cause. That's quite good. When you draw an opponent's blood, it gives you plus one strength. That's amazing. I need to be level 12 for that. I'll save a point for that. Each blow in an uninterrupted chain will hurt your opponent more than the previous one. Them last two are amazing. I'm level 11. What level do I need to be? 12. I can get them next time, so I'm not going to spend any points. They're swords. Oh, well, I might as well get the long sword. Long sword. I'll get that one. Get that one. And then there's only one more long sword. One unlock at level 13, so we'll get that next time. I'll learn them before we go into combat. Not bothered about drinking horsemanship. Your horse can carry more, but it's slower. Mm, I think I'm happy. Oh, and that's the opposite way around. All right, okay. Skittish. Chances of staying in the saddle if an opponent tries to unhorse you. That could be good. Strong thighs. Although I'd, I've never really... How many have I got? I've got two. I'm going to get strong thighs. I think that could be beneficial. Boom. Not bother about maintenance. This is what I want. Wearing boots you've repaired yourself. Stamina will cost you 20% less. That's good. Every item of clothing you're wearing that you've repaired yourself adds 0.5 to charisma up to a maximum. That's amazing. When you repair your own armor, you're able to pad it so it doesn't jangle as much and lower your stealth a bit. Right, amazing. I'm going to get that. So what's my stealth rating? Oh, it doesn't tell you. I'm going to get it anyway. 
in Savile Row. I've repaired all my some of my armor myself, so I want to get to Savile Row. Charisma's eleven. Maybe it's not retroactive. Maybe the next time I repair my armor, I'll get those two perks. So that's good. Pickpocketing. Reduces your chance of being discovered when there's a lot of people around. How many have I got? I've got three points. I think that could be good. Get that. With the same charisma level you have. Well, you're never going to know, are you? Dress similarly. Hmm. When looting corpses, you'll find more money. Stats for half the items in a pickpocket. Reveal stats for half the items in a pickpocket and victim's purse. Immediately reveals one of the items in a pickpocket and victim's inventory. I don't know the difference between these. What's the difference? I feel like pocket sight's better. Because it tells you exactly what they are. One of the items. Ah, right, I'll leave that for now. Stealth. Move almost slightly in the rain. When crouching without movement, you get a 30% stealth bonus. That could be good. But I want that one. I want slim fit. So I need to be level 8. What am I now? I need... Right, next level. I'll wait on the next level. I want to get that, that slim fit. Right, we're done. That's it. All the leveling up. We're done is done. So what are we doing? We need to go to... Merhued and interrogate the captive nice. I'm gonna do some interrogation. What's this? Oh yeah, we killed that camp. So we've got to turn that in. That's alright. Right, we're gonna to go to Merhued. Can I fast travel there? There we go. And also next time I'm in Rate <clears throat> I want to go to the 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 cl clobber. I was gonna say the clobber. What's it called? Cobbler. The cobbler to buy like a, a shoe repair kit. I think that's the only repair kit I don't have. Because I think that's the only item I can't repair by myself. And now that most of my stuff's at a hundred, I can start repairing them to get my skill up higher. Okay then. Interrogate the captive. Find out what happened to Matthias. And we'll start asking around. Matthias. I'm Matthias. What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits and then the plague broke out. The plague? Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. Bloody Nora. The fucking plague. These bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned humans. But they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Malikars. Right. How did you manage to fight them off? Well, we were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a little way out of the village and ran to warn old Malikar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that. But they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got cut up with something terrible. And a few others. We've a number of wounded. And now the plague to crown it all. Christ preserve us. Christ be. Melikar. Straw. Those names are new to me. They're locals. Melikar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. May God grant him eternal peace. And Straw, that's the local woodsman. Poor fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. He's having a bad time, him, like. Such a bad time. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house mm -hmm. on the left. What about Straw? I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, You'll see Straw's house on the right. 
So I just over from the stables, that's all right. I the plague. And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. it. Makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Melikar's wife. Poor thing. Bloody hell, I hope I don't get it. I'm looking for Matthias. I think he works at the stud here. Matthias. Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long, isn't that right? Not long, it's true. Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way, but at least he's still alive. Thank you. All right, so we've done everything Thank there. You. That's all. Right, well, we've got a, I noticed we've got a secondary quest there, Pestilence. Where's that? Quest log. Side quests, how else we'll do that. Ask the local bailiff. So we're looking for the green ear. Green ear, where's that? There he is. How are Big B? Big B? There he is. Been a while, mate. Let's go. Big B! I do like it how I've got the... The armor now. I got a Runt armor. That black jersey that I'm wearing. It looks incredible. My guy looks just bling bling now. Oh, look. Plagued horses. The nightmare. We're going this way. Oh no. Go on horse. Oh the horse is a beast. I'm like a show jumping legend. Big B aka Michael Jordan. That must be him there. Oh mate, hold on. Hold your horses. He's a bailiff. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. Oh, oh that's not who that? I'm Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradze won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. Hmm, he hasn't got... Some people don't like Radzig like, but then again, like, he can't be everywhere to help everyone. Yeah, Sir Radzig knows nothing of the plague. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Radzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Right. I'll do that. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then... Even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. <laughs> He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses, but don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Shit. Hey, watch it. Right, we've got to speak to you, Hunter. these days. Investigate the plague. So we're looking for lime on houses. That must be this area. Yeah, it is. Matthias. I'll speak to Matthias. And I'll also lime on houses. Ah, there, look. Right, we'll have a quick. We're gonna spend as little time in here as possible. What? A 
have you come for my wife? You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw, you've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. The hell? I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? I'm sorry that they killed your son. I truly am sorry. But if you don't want that disease to take your wife, you'll let me see her right away. I can help her. I... I don't want her taken, no. There. You see? Eh? Uh, what? Are you a quack? Something like that. <laughs> then go to it. Go! Right, let's see if we can just find out the symptoms. Oh, she's fucked her, like, isn't she? Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchar's wife. Hmm. Fever. Right, that's it. Just like Melchar's wife. So, we're no so there's fever. That's one of the things. There's only a couple of houses that look like they're infected. So, I'll go to... I've been in that one. Let's go to this house here. That's the house I've been in. Sorry. What about this one over here? Oh, no, it's not. That's the house I've been in. That door was just open anyway. We'll go in this house. See what they've got to say. You're from Melikar's farm? E yes. I need to talk to the captain. Oh, no, no. Melikar forbade me to let anyone near him. I don't Let's want to go and see him yet. Way, God bless. I, just, I was just looking for the plague. Can't talk to her. Right. Oh, come on, go and see him. Is it Melikar? That is over this way. Well, that way. Want to find out to go and see Johanka in the monastery. Is he in this barn? Yeah, he is. What the hell? Is he having a nap? He looks dead. <laughs> he looks dead. You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? You could see that. He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. Well, you survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. Hmm. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Hey, he's right. Could have been his neck, like. I wonder if I can help him with me first aid. I'm just getting hope so. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. Oh, that's the guy we saw. Old Straw. I understand old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. 
What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck, then. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't Cubans, mm. though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. <laughs> didn't expect resistance. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikov, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torture. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they Get took in. the bastards by surprise. That's what you need. Best defense is a good offense in surprise. About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone nice. died from it? Aye, old Burba. Although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Malachar and Straw have sick ones at home. Right, so I've seen Straw. I've got to go and see Malachar. Can I ask you a bit about Medhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about Old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Well, it's normal to grieve, no? Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? I already know this. When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I oh, know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. So you see, he, he stood up, that's good. What's Malachar like? Oh the shit, I've already asked this. Thank God. Where does Malachar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Melikar lives in the left-hand one. Well, that's the one I've, I've been in those two, but Melikar wasn't there. Right, that's enough. Okay. He, he went straight back to sleep. Did you see that? He must be fucking that good. Right. So, the stables. Out the stay. Oh. Unless this one. I don't know, where's the stables? Out the stables. Yeah. The one on the right. One on the right, sir. On the left, sir. Oh, in your hunk, as they. I need to find Malakar. I'm going in here first. This is the only other house that's got a dodgy, that's got the plague. Ah, here we go. Grab body. I'll pick it up. <laughs> Take it with us. Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Anthony. And what do you want from me? 
I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Malikar said the dead should be buried at once. I can do that. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. Mm. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. Yeah. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. Good thing is I've got a spade as well. I've been carrying about my inventory ever since I found um, Ricky's loot. But around the back of this house is a lovely linden tree, is there? There it is. Howard and Henry. Henry the grave digger. You don't have a spade? Oh, unless the horse has got it. There it is. Boom. He's a good lad, Henry, like. That's what I like about him. Like, the actor's done such a good job of making him a likeable character. Then again, because I've been quite nice in the game, it'd be nice to see if the the actor's does a good job of being a horrible, an horrible cant. <laughs> if you pick, like, nasty options. Kind of reminds of the Mass Effect games. Where, I think it was people said, I never played as a girl though, but if you picked the girl, she was really good at being evil. Whoa. There you go, pet. Briska. Thank you. Now please take him there. Oh lord. Bloody hell. Am I going to be allowed to do this? What, I'm carrying this guy? I'll follow her, she must know. Oh, I can go through the, this little stable here into the back garden. Because I kind of see us being able to jump over fences with this body. Yeah, there we go. Come on, son. We'll get you buried. I'll dirty the washing with you, your bloody body. I'll let her pay her respect. Merciful God, grant his soul eternal rest. I'm going to have to interrupt you here. I need answers. <laughs> I need answers now. Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like he'd been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt. Terribly. Thank you. So we know all the symptoms. Right, so we know all the symptoms now. I still want to speak to Matthias. Ah, I think it's going to be this house. I think it's that house there. We'll sharp find out. If you go out the stables, it's not the one on the right. It's the one on the left. This one. Yeah, that's Matthias' wife. I think. Unless it's... The... Who's this? You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. Alright, so that's... So Melikar, that's who I need to see. Unless they meant this house here. That's where the guy must be kept. The guy with the plague that I need to see. We'll go in this house. He might have meant this one. On the far left. Here we go. Vincent? Who the hell is this? Jesus lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the plague cross on the door? I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. They haven't? God bless you boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else, apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. 
The shit just pours out of me. <laughs> I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favor to ask. What? So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? Oh. I can. Can I? I know I can read. I think I can write. I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Merhold, <laughs> do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife, Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Janowitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, the layabout and good-for-nothing, inherit a single groschen, all customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? <laughs> yes. Write it all down. And then write, the executor of my last will is to be my good friend. Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the Church of St. Martin in Sassel. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry, presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Deliver to him. Deliver to Fabian. Ah, let's ask him what his son did. Your son Elijah. What did he do to you? Christ Almighty. Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Fucking hell, mate, how are He was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. Last we heard, he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. You want him killed? <laughs> I can do that for you. Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? In St. Martin's Church, of course. This guy's a greedy prick. All right, I'll head off then. Yes, go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? Last will and testament. Champion. Was that his wife? No, that's villager. I'll have a wash before I catch any diseases. Now that's it. I don't think I'm going to be able to find a... Uh, not Matthias. The other guy's name. Let's see if it says it in the quest log. Uh, what's he called? Matthias. Matthias. I talked to Melikor. <laughs> Melikor's the the bailiff, but I didn't even know where he'd be. Where he'd be. You know what I mean? I think we might have to leave him. There's no quest marker on him. I did talk to him at the start, though. Malaka, where art thou? Right, if he's not on this. Oh, there he is. Is that Malaka? I'll speak to him one last time. Oh, I can't speak to him. Okay, so it is off to Sasal. Let's do the damn thing. We'll get both of these done. So A is take the will to Sasal. We'll do that, then we'll fight. Oh no, we'll go here first and we'll do that second and then we'll head all the way back. This is more important. We might catch a few bandits on the way there and we'll destroy them with our awesome sword fighting skills. I'm like D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Hold up, nice. Who's fighting us? What the hell? He hit us. Ow. Wow, that's the 
again to you. The Who's fighting me? My prayers, just Everyone. My rage on Are you fucking kidding us? Every I must have accidentally hit him. Fuck them, I'll kill them all. You, are you alright with this? God's alright. Was that a god? Ah, I killed him. Fuck him. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle. Ah, fuck off. Surrender! You'll fuck off. Die, bitches. No one's gonna see what happened here today. Everyone will die. Execution. I should have pickpocketed him first. That's it. Everyone's dead here. Ah, uh, so that's one thing you've got to be careful of holdups is accidentally hitting the guards. It does not give you a second chance. It's one strike and you're out. But so what happens when you fuck with me? You get destroyed. This bandit looked like he had really good armor on. Dark riding boots. Ooh, I'll take them. He didn't have a weapon. He didn't actually have good armor on either. Let me up. Oh, I can't jump because I haven't got. I'm too over in combat. I'll get that guard in a second. Really, I'm only interested in the Groshan. In some of those, I'll take the bandages. Kettle hack three for. Ooh. 699, I'll take that. Take them. Mm. I'll take the hair meat, I could eat that straight away. Hunter's gloves, I'll take them. Take that. The riding spurs are really good for oh yeah groshan on them for the the weight to price ratio is phenomenal on them better hunt narrow i'll take them leather gloves phenomenal and that's it the rest of that's a bit crap Gro i always miss the groshan because i'm looking at the price who's next you had some good gear on you didn't you brown hood and uh PS and I'll all take that. And that's it. All you had. What about you? God had to die. He was a bitch. Dark Aikton. I wonder if that's any good. He's got bacon. Oh my god, the guy's got bacon. Two bacons. Take that. Noble's male coif. I think that's what I'm what I'm wearing at the minute. And that's it, nurse. There's nothing else worth a lot of money here for the weight. Nope. What about you? Light lamella armor, I'll take that just in case it's good. Riveted van braces. Spear. Oh, he had a spear, did he? Captain's helmet's worth loads, I'll take that. So he was a captain.
Silver Spurs, grand. And then the last guy is him. We'll put it all on the horse. That's worth a lot. Take that. Take that. Three for 211. It's not actually that good. That's good. That's it. Okay then. Armour. What's this take? This takes place of that. This is item info. Two, four, and seven. Two, four. Ah, it's so much worse. It's a lot worse than what I've got on. Right, I'll start putting this in the horse. Horse, horse, horse. Riding boots is 331. What are my boots? Fashionable black hosen, 111. What am I wearing? One one one. Nice thirty three five and fifty. Thirty three five and fifty. Twenty three three and fifty. Ooh, I'm gonna wear them because they're better than mine. Dark riding boots. Drop that. Move the horse. Hunting boots is three three and one. 3, 3 and 1, 25, 10 and 55, 25, 10 and 55, I'm going to wear them and I'll just repair them, put them on the thing, armour takes up that slot, that's not as good as mine I know straight away, I'm already wearing that. I never picked up any weapons, did I? Right, I want to eat this bacon because I'm nourishing at 92. I'll eat one of them. And that's it. Okay. So we slaughtered everyone there by accident, but these things happen, you know what I mean? I wonder how you find out. There's a... There's a way on this. To find out like how light you are in places but I don't know how to I don't know how to do it right come on then monastery you're too overloaded how am I overloaded like am I missing something oh, all this shit move to the horse Oh, these, man. Put the spade across. Goblet. Taylor's kit. Boom. Ah, that worked a treat. Come on then. First trying to get the bloody Sassal. Monastery. Here we go. Wait for it to load in. Aha! We behold the beauty. So I'll see Johanka. That's what we've got to see. Now we're yeah, in this game, I think. I don't know if this is how it works, but you know how I, I saw that hold up outside of a Sasau and I accidentally hit a guard? I 
think you've got to murder them. Because if they tell the tales of what you've done, yeah, you're going to get your reputation lowered. Like, let's speak to this guy. I can't speak to him. Well, this guard speak to us. Cheaters, another one. No. Where do you find out the... How much somewhere likes you? Mm. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop. Stop. Cancel. Oh, it's broke. It's I didn't even know where it's taking us. It's taking us miles away. This is not what I wanted to do. Please get a hold up or something. Meet a wayfarer so I can travel back. No! Don't do this! What on earth's going on? Lads. Oh, thank fuck for that. We know what's going to happen already. Oh, nothing happened. Oh, there we go. What are you doing, you murderer? We know what happens. What are you talking about? I've got myself in a few scrapes, but that doesn't make me a killer. People who get in scrapes are the same ones who... What are you doing here? Bastard. I'm travelling the province in the service of Sir Radzig Kabila. Right. And I'm... Sir this guy's a fucking killer. prick. And I'm off to report you. Do you know what it is? Fuck this. I'm sick of this shit. Last will and testament. Right, tell you what. I'm loading that up. I think um, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to... I'm at the place where I just, just spoke to that guy about the will and testament. And I've got to go to Sassel from here. There we go. Right. So now we're just going to fast travel. I don't think you can fast travel from within the house. Hey, nightmare this. Now, don't, ideally, I don't want to kill them guards. I think it's fucking bad. But even though it was an accident. Right, go to the monastery. Bang, take me there. We'll get this done eventually, lads. And then, so, if you saw that slot that made me fast travel all the way back up there, it didn't have any words on the, on the slot. Must be a game bug. So when I clicked it, it must be you can fast travel to certain places by just scrolling through on that menu. Bloody Nora. Looks like we're going to get the uninterrupted witches I'm happy with. There we go. This is what I wanted to happen. There we go. Happy days. God still didn't talk. Never mind. So I'm gonna go and see you, Hanka. Oh. What the hell? Going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Or was that the girl that we just saw outside of here? This must be her, do you think? Just my luck to get stuck here with all the cripples. Meanwhile, could... Thomas and Pavel are probably playing dice up on the battlement. That's her. Johanka? Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Not right now. Matthias sent me. Matthias? My god, did something happen? What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... 
Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Shit. Actually, uh, I have no idea. So well, this is where everyone know. from Scalettes ended up. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um. So can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. I can help you. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Hmm. Yeah, let me have a look with me mad skills. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know hmm. what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Henry's a beast at first aid with them skill ups. Nice one. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Bastards. They're probably just leaving it in God's hands. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Right, bring gear and meat to the infirmary, so I need to kill like a deer or something. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? Bed. I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that. Out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. I'll sort them out. Hmm. Bastards. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here. Alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me. But other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you liked. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. Mm. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Hmm, I could try it. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because what? of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. We're going to sort him right out. Right the fuck out. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohoslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh, God. How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? 
Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. Right. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the custodian and we're going to go and find the... I'll see if I can help these guys. Philip, from Scalitz. Hmm. I don't see any wounds. Jesus. But he's shaking hey. terribly. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hunker. Oh, so I can just check on everyone. Be a bit more careful. I'm not needed here. I'm not needed here. These wounds have been well taken care of. Huh? Uh, why are you wigging me? Hans. You look all right? Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was <laughs> running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. I'm a beast, mate. A long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. We have helped Hans. Huh? Where? What's happening? Sorted you out. How are you feeling? Good. It feels clean. Hope it helps. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. Nice. That's great. There's a guy on the floor. These wounds have been well taken care of. That's, I need to help him somehow. He just needs to sleep. Insomnia. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, <laughs> I can't get any sleep. I'll help you. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it Poison. quickly. I'm not needed here. Oh, Brother Nicodemus is here. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of. But others? Others are dying here. Needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? Yes. I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. 
What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. Good, so I've got a couple of things to ask him. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. His rash? I heard he's been here a lot lately. Well, that's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank right. you. Right. I need to ask him questions about the wounded. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I... I can't afford anything more for them. I'll give how you is money. That possible? You're the infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Bastard. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him. But it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. I'll straighten him right out. I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalit's locals in such a state. I know. I'm ashamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. I don't think it's that. This guy's just trying his best. He's actually an you know, alright guy. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. I'd like to learn something from you. I'd like to learn something from you. Hmm. And what can you do? A bit of everything. Can you now? But to be more precise, do you understand herbs and medicinal plants? Not really. To be honest, not really. So what am I supposed to do with you? Well, never <laughs> mind. At least you'll learn something new. Go to the herb garden, take a good look at what's growing there, and then pull up the weeds in the herbaceous beds. Is that clear? Oh, so he must learn me about, um... Clear. I can get cracking. Not so fast. Have I even told you what I consider a weed? It's dandelions, stinging nettles, and thistles. Those plants have their use, but they've no business growing among the Euphrasia and the Mentha. Or anywhere else in that garden, for that matter. I see. Right, so that must be a little Once side you quest the for him. Of weeds, come back. And woe betide you if you pull up anything but weeds. <laughs> Don't worry, you've never had as good a gardener. I will not do that. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me... Has the whole village come down with it? No, not yet. About half the houses? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, they there's did. a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens... And now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? I do. Yes, more or less. Excellent. 
I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? I can. Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Right, where do we start? So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum de Sickness Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue, so you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully, and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. Brilliant. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae, and Galen's magnum opus, the Ars Medicinalis. I thought he was going to punch us there. Right, so we've got leads now. That's good. I'm going to quickly speak to her to find out what we can do with these two fellas. Brother Elias, where's the... Um... Oh, there she is. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. Ooh. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. I'll straighten his leg nice. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it, then. Oh, my Henry is such a beast. What happened to Philip? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days. Oh, he's probably diseased. Corpses. Yeah. If he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. Right. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. We're getting so many things to do. That's all right. So we need to straighten... Um... That's Philip. What's that? Set leg. Are you holding him firmly? Go on, set it. Oh, that sounded nice. We did it. Right, so we need to, we can't help him yet. The insomniac we need to get a sleep portion, so he's gonna help us with. Right. We've getting loads done. So I need what to here? What are you doing? Find the right diagnosis and the recipe for the cure in the books. So are the books here? He gets out the way. Right, 
Wait, wait there, so I need to know what I'm looking for first. Um. In God's hands. Not doing that yet. Help with the healing of the sick. Optional. Bring some game meat. Find something to help him fall asleep. Try to get supplies from the custodian. Find Father Simon Pestilence. Find the right diagnosis and the recipe for the cure in the book. Okay. I wonder if it's this. How to recognise ailments by means uh, whatever man is composed. I need to get to that book. Yes, I need. I need to be. I need access to the book. Am I even going to the right place? A. Eh. Yeah, it says find the right diagnosis and the recipe for the cure in the book. Aha, well that's start alchemy. I don't want to do that. Somewhere. Yeah man, get off that book. I can't get him off the bloody book. Mate, this is bullshit. Or do I know what ails them? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Fuck it. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? I don't know. Shit, I need to read it. I actually need to read it. Shit. Right, come on then. It's known that the body of a man is combined with four humours, blood, yellow bile, black eyeball and phlegm. If these are in balance, the person's healer is healthy. But if there's an excess of one, it swamps the body, disturbs equilibrium and leads to ailments or even death. The excess of mucus may also lead to diphtheria. For example, the body endeavours to get rid of it by coughing, sometimes spasmodically. Spasmodically. It leaves sores in the throat and mouth that trouble the sick and complicate the intake of fluids. The whole agony is further exaggerated by fever, often accompanied by malaise. Is. After a few days, the rash or spots appear. People often become infected by association with a sufferer. Well, that's right, but not everyone succumbs to the infection. Diphtheria does not infect animals, right? So that's not. Nor does suffer plague caused by black bile fluctuation often exhibits many signs. These include fever accompanied by malaise, often alternated with a spastic cough, perhaps even diarrhea. That's right, with the body endeavours to rid itself of excess bile and great thirst. After a few days, sores are up on the body, on the neck, under the jaw, the armpits, and the groin. Later, black spots are seen on the fingers, nose, mouth. I don't think it's plague. It spreads among people, but some people are not afflicted. Small animals do not suffer from the plague, but bigger ones may be infected. That could be the plague. The need dysentery. A profusion of yellow bile can lead to dysentery, which is manifested by various signs: violent diarrhea, vomiting. The sick also suffer from terrible thirst, abdominal cramps, and fever. Is transmitted from person to person, but animals last definitely not that. Also, ways in which the inner human is disturbed and the blood weakened. One such is by poisoning, which is manifested by fever and delirium, stomach ache, convulsions, diarrhea, and great thirst. A person is poisoned by gas, for example, in mines near swamps or similar places. This often appears on a rash around the nose and mouth. However, this rash does not occur if the poison is ingested through food consumed. Poison is not transmitted between humans or animals. But if they drink, for example, from the same source of water, then the people are inflicted as well as animals. The late, the latter often sooner. In the case of imbalance, internal fluids, the same manifest by the... Oh. Saint Visu dance. 
Die from the full kit and seldom seek the down from the full kit. Could it be gas? Poisoning. I think it's poisoning because there's no black black spots, is there? I'm gonna go with I think it's that me, like. Let's have a look. Uh 